for Drew Davis. Oh my God! No way! Absolutely no way! Drew Davis just tied up. It's funny, like when you tell them about your idea and it's not doing well, they think you're crazy. And then when you have a video that gets 1.8 million views, you're a genius. So they flip on you real quick. 2021, MLW had its best business year ever. We made just over $250,000 in revenue. I'm looking to do better numbers this year and we're on track to do so. What's up guys, I'm Kyle. And I'm Tommy. And, and this, this is, is My Hustle. Hustle. It all started in 2010 in the summer in my front yard with Tommy, my two brothers, and his sister actually. Just playing pickup wiffle ball as kids in the summer with no responsibilities in the world. But it'd be like an all day thing. Like we would just play till sundown, just wiffle ball all day, maybe like five or six games because that's like all we did as kids. When I went to the University of Michigan, I majored in sport management and entrepreneurship. So honestly for me, it was all tailored around MLW and I wanted to make it financially stable by the time I graduated. I went to Michigan State University and studied mechanical engineering. Got my degree there, which was not an easy degree to get. Me and Kyle are always having these conversations about trying to level up and to grow the brand. So made the decision to come full time and I literally told my parents, I didn't want any other voices in my head trying to change my mind. So we made it financially stable mainly because of our YouTube channel. We invested in our content fully from 2018 on. So just spending a lot more time in preparation for the videos and investing in equipment. And thankfully our YouTube channel sits at 350,000 subscribers now. We have a merchandise line, we have tournaments, we have sponsors. So those are kind of like our four main pillars of revenue streams. But we really just invest in our content. That's what our bread and butter is. That's what we really pride ourselves on. Hello everybody and welcome to The Meadows. I'm Kyle Schultz alongside Tommy Coughlin. The Magic are coming off of yet another disappointing series. They were swept by the Preds before the All-Star break and are now sitting at two and seven. So a tough spot for Agner and company. And as for my Western Wildcats, we have my full four-man lineup here today. That includes myself, Nick Saylor, Jackson Pearson, and my rookie, Ty Smith, who I'm still very excited about. So if we can just get the bats going today and I'm throwing strikes, I think that's a good recipe for success. Not only are we playing in these games, but we're in charge of the broadcast aspect as well. So maintaining the cameras and the stat book and making sure everything's on and the mics are recording. We're wearing two hats at once. It's like, not only do we want to play good for ourselves and our fans, but we need to put on a good product too. Most of the stuff is done in house by Kyle. Almost everything. I do very little on that side of the business. I've, I've learned a lot along the way, but in terms of what you're seeing in the actual YouTube videos alone, is mostly Kyle, where I handle more like the TikTok, Instagram clips, that kind of stuff. Pearson pop in the left field. Bonham makes the catch right in front of the tent. A quick inning for Bonham and the Magic. So right now in MLW, we have eight teams and about five players on each team. You'll have your pitcher and then two outfielders and then two bench players, and then you can bat three to five players. Small field makes sense to have less guys than nine like baseball does, so it's kind of just a good balance. We've kind of increased that number over the years. I mean, some of the first teams only had two guys. Like me and Kyle were a team, just us two, a pitcher and a fielder, <laughs> which it. is so much fun. But um, we want to, you know, grow the league and stuff like that. So we've expanded, made the field bigger, more players, that kind of thing. We love flair. We love excitement. So I'm talking bat flips and getting in people's faces after strikeouts, you know, flexing after they get a strikeout. At MLW, I mean, guys are chucking that bat. I'm talking like 100 <laughs> feet, like into the woods. On YouTube, personalities are so important, right? Like everyone likes to watch their creators for not only what they do, but for who they are. So like our fans are so invested in us as people too. And like, even not just us, but all the players in the league. My name is Jimmy Norp. And when you say get Norped, it means I probably did something cool on the field to piss off the other team. <laughs> Get Norped. I mean, you gotta get Norped. That's kind of my thing now, so I'll roll with it. Kyle texted me one day. He's like, hey man, we're gonna come out with a shirt for you. And I couldn't really believe it. I was kind of losing my mind, but he sent me a picture and all of a sudden, you know, now I got my own shirt and a lot of, I see a lot of fans reffing it, so it's pretty cool. It means a lot. So I got introduced to Wiffle Ball in 2017, started coming out to tournaments, and then these guys kind of found me, invited me to their draft class, and that's when I got drafted in the league. But it's crazy what these guys are able to do with the ball. Hitting a Wiffle Ball is not an easy task, man. These pitches are incredible. Crazy movement, late movement. It's not easy. Our guys throw really fast in our league, but we actually cap it with a radar gun, and you can only throw 73 miles per hour. And that's pretty hard to hit in wiffle ball, especially when that ball is rising, dropping, curving every single direction. And that's another one of our sponsors is Pocket Radar. We have a radar gun and a monitor, so everybody on the field knows what the actual speed is right there. We have a physical strike zone that is made out of PVC pipe and aluminum in the middle, and it's very small, 18 inches by 22. We use the original yellow bat that Wiffle Ball creates, but we put our flare on it, so we, we wrap it up with our sponsor, Voot Grips, and then we tape it up with athletic tape on the barrel to give it some more pop when you connect. And that's something that really helps a Wiffle Ball bat, and it's something that really looks cool too. You can design it with your team colors and all that kind of stuff, so we make sure every team does that. Ground ball, hard hit to first, nice play. It's really been surprising, you know, where MLW has gone and where it's going. 
Kyle and Tommy surprise me every day and I think there's still a lot of growth and opportunity, you know, going to new resorts and ballparks. It's really been exciting. Way back in 2009, I was with Tommy and Kyle when it all started out. I was like seven years old, so where Kyle and Tommy have taken this league, it's to proportions I never would have thought or never would have dreamed of. Hearing fans chant your name and your team's name is simply incredible. For the first time ever this year, we held a game in a professional baseball stadium. And so I walk up the tunnel and I see the crowd just outlining the outfield wall and they're all screaming my name. I'm like, am I living in a dream? Like, it's simply unreal. We actually came out with trading cards this year, so it's really cool to see our fans trading and collecting these cards. My favorite shoot ever was when I went to TBS last October and shot with guys like Ernie Johnson, Curtis Granderson, my childhood idol, Jimmy Rollins, and Pedro Martinez, a baseball hall of famer. Oh my goodness, that was, I was on cloud nine. Absolute dream come true to shoot with them. And they all loved the videos too. They were like saying like, you guys really put a professional product out there and you know, actually playing wiffle ball with them. They were like, wow, it's actually like really hard to hit. Like you guys are really doing it right. So it's so surreal to me still to this day, it's crazy. Get in the left center field, up. carrying Let's and go gone. Go. Kyle go. Schultz leaves the yard and makes it 7 0 Wildcats. For the future of wiffle ball, we want to continue branching out within the country and within other countries, honestly. We want to host events in LA, in New York, in Chicago annually. That's something that me and Tommy really are looking forward to doing here in the next few years. The ultimate goal for me and Tommy, really, and all of MLW is to have our own stadium. So something that houses all of our league games, tournaments, a national championship of all the events we run, we want that to be the mecca of wiffle ball. And I don't know if that's a five year plan, 10 year plan, or even sooner than that, but that's my ultimate goal with MLW. I think what inspires me and what keeps me going is just like the endless possibilities with wiffle ball and just with our brand that we've created. Showing your family members, your friends, and your fans like what's possible if you really just work towards a goal and always work on bettering yourself is just really cool and how many people can I affect while I'm here in a positive way. I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. I'm just trying to make the best possible content and see what I can do and just I'm looking for the endless pursuit of my own approval. Thanks to everybody for watching our video. To check out more stories like ours, be sure to like and subscribe.